Intonation, Linguistics, from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, http colon forward slash forward slash en dot w-i-k-i-p-e-d-i-a dot o-r-g. Intonation, in linguistics, is the variation of pitch when speaking. Intonation and stress are two main elements of linguistic prosody. Many languages use pitch syntactically, for instance to convey surprise and irony, or to change a statement to a question. Such languages are called intonation languages. English is a well-known example. Some languages use pitch to distinguish words. These are known as tonal languages. Thai is an example. An intermediate position is occupied by languages with tonal word accent, for instance, Norwegian. Rising intonation means the pitch of the voice increases over time. Falling intonation means that the pitch decreases with time. A dipping intonation falls and then rises, whereas a peaking intonation rises and then falls. The classic example of intonation is the question-statement distinction. For example, Northeastern American English has a rising intonation for echo or declarative questions. He found it on the street and a falling intonation for qua questions and statements. Yes-no questions often have a rising end, but not always. The Chickasaw language has the opposite pattern, rising for statements and falling with questions. Dialects of British and Irish English vary substantially, with rises on many statements in urban Belfast and falls on most questions in urban Leeds. Section 1. Transcription in the International Phonetic Alphabet, global rising and falling intonation are marked with a diagonal arrow rising left to right and falling left to right, respectively. These may be written as part of a symbol or separated with a space when they have a broader scope. He found it on the street? In the previous example, the global rise symbol is placed between the transcriptions for the words the and street. Yes, he found it on the street. In that example, the symbol for a global fall was placed before the transcription for the word yes, as well as between the transcriptions for the words the and street. How did you ever escape? Here, the global rise symbol is placed before the transcription for the word how, and the global fall symbol is placed between the two syllables in escape, after the small capital letter I, which represents the sound I. Section 2. References. Grabe, E. 2004. Intonational Variation in Urban Dialects of English Spoken in the British Isles. In Jills P. and Peters J. Editors. Regional Variation in Intonation. Linguistische Arbeiten, Tübingen, Niemeyer. Pages 9 through 31. Category. Phonology. This sound file, recorded January 26, 2006, and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.